Good morning, Circle of Hopers. It is Dr. Ashley, and as you can tell, I am not at home. Um, some of you may have heard in the video cast that I am on vacation in Hawaii with my family. We are visiting the island of Oahu. Um, I'll show you a little bit of the background here. We are staying at a beachfront condo and I am filming this from our lanai. So sit out here and drink coffee and eat breakfast, watch the sunset. Isn't that gorgeous? It looks like a fake background, but it is actually right here behind me. So as you guys know, I often get my inspiration for recovery hacks from my therapy sessions and I haven't had any this week. So I have been thinking about you guys a lot and wondering, what message do I want to share in this week's recovery hack? And this is what came to me yesterday. I was waiting in line at the Dole Plantation, uh, the Dole Pineapple Plantation, and it was like an hour and a half wait time to get on the train. So they have about a 25 minute train ride called the Pineapple Express that takes you all through the pineapple, pineapple plantation. And um, obviously I wanted to take my daughter on it so we got in line and we waited and we waited and it ended up being a little less than an hour and a half but it was a, a decent size wait so i'm sitting there thinking what do i want to share and this is what came to me and it's all about perspective and choosing how we want to experience the world around us and how we want to experience our day ourselves in our day and we have choice in that now, before I left on this trip, I had decided that this was going to be a magical trip. That was my word, magical. This was our post-COVID trip. We promised our daughter, we've just gotta get through COVID, we've gotta get through quarantine and lockdown, and as soon as we are safe to travel, we will do a magical vacation. I think Hawaii is pretty magical, right? So before we left on this trip, I was saying like, this is going to be a magical trip. And one of my family members said, well, I hope you're right. And I remember thinking, oh, there's no hope in this. I'm not hanging this on everything going well for it to be magical. This is a decision that I've already made within myself that this will be a magical trip. And I can say that with such confidence because the magic isn't in everything going right because that never happens, right? The magic is in choosing what I am going to focus on. And I am going to focus on the magic, like this amazing palm tree right behind me, right? So I am going to focus on that. Now, we've gotten here and there have definitely been some things that are not very magical. I'll give you two of them that are big ones and there's been a lot of small things along the way, but the first one is I think everybody is visiting Hawaii right now. And I'm pretty sure the entire world is in Hawaii. And what that means is there are very long lines everywhere in, um, in all of the different, you know, tourist attractions, there are long lines in all of the towns, there are long lines just to get a shaved ice. On the roads, there's a lot of traffic and we are spending a lot of time waiting in line, but it just is what it is, right? So that's one thing that's not super magical. The other thing is we got to our condo, which is pretty awesome. I mean, you can't complain with this, right? But the bed is not comfortable at all. We're here for nine days. That's nine nights on an uncomfortable bed. That is not magical. <laughs> I'm someone who loves my sleep and that is not magical. But here's the thing, guys. I am choosing to find magic in other places okay so those two things aren't super great but they're not going to make up the narrative of my trip they're just not because that's not magical what is magical i'm shaking here what is magical are these palm trees what's magical is the sunset that i got to watch over the north shore beach last night what's magical is the sea turtle that i got to watch swim up onto the beach hang out for an hour let me take a thousand pictures maybe a thousand and one and then swim back into the water. That was magical. What's magical is seeing the smile on my daughter's face. What's magical is hearing the ocean and seeing the turquoise water, getting in the water and just kind of bobbing with the waves, watching the dolphins swim out along the horizon. 
Um, and then the, the tiny little things, the beautiful flowers. I'm stopping on the side of the road to take pictures of the plumeria, which are everywhere. The Hawaiians are like, oh, plumeria, done there, done that. But I find it magical. They're just gorgeous flowers. So here's your recovery hack. You get to choose what you see, okay? There are stressors all around us on this trip. There are frustrations all around us on this trip. There are things not going the way we want them to all around us on this trip. But you know what? There's also magic all around us on this trip and we get to choose what we're gonna pay attention to because where we put our attention is where our energy goes. So if I want more magic, I've got to pay attention to the magic that's already in front of me. If I want more stress, just pay attention to the stress in front of you. Want more things to go wrong? Pay attention to what's already going wrong around you because what you pay attention to is what you're gonna get more of because it's what you're finding, it's what you're looking for, it's what you're seeing. So I choose to see the magic, therefore I get more magic, okay? Think of this kind of like a radio station. When you turn on the radio, you have all kinds of choices, right? You can listen to country, rap, um, classical, rock, you can listen to any of those, you get to choose. And then you tune into the station that offers you what you want. Well, it's the same thing with our perception. We get to choose what we see, okay? Do you want to see stress? Because you can dial into that station. It is available and all around you. Do you want to tune in to everything going wrong? That's available, it is all around you. There are always things going wrong. You can tune into that station. Or you can join me over on the magic station where we tune into the magic. Whether you're in Hawaii, whether you're in just a monotonous, typical day at home, whether you are surrounded by some stressful things, I guarantee if you make the intentional and conscious decision to tune into magic, I guarantee you, you will find it. You might have to look a little harder some days, but I guarantee you, you will find it. It's all in your hands to choose what you focus on, okay? So that's your recovery hack. Pay attention to which stations you're tuning into this week. Are you tuning into magic? Are you tuning into stress? Are you tuning into everything going wrong? You get to decide. And when I get home from this trip and I go back to that family member and I'm gonna say, it was magical. And she's gonna say, wow, you're so lucky. And I'm gonna say, oh no, it wasn't luck because there were plenty of stressors and plenty of things not working the way we wanted to and plenty of things that went wrong. But you know what? There was so much magic that I chose to dial into, okay? So join me in finding the magic. It's around you, you just gotta see it. All right, guys, I am thinking of you all and I really look forward to being back next week in our Wednesday video cast with Dr. Julie. Until then, much aloha. And a fun little fact, aloha is used for hello, goodbye, and love. Isn't that precious? Here in Hawaii, hello and love and goodbye are the same words. So much aloha to you. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.